Bounce app has a new look that I want to show you. Um, we now have the option of adding in a theme and you can also modify the color scheme of the app. So if you're not familiar with what the Counts app does, it allows your visitors to visually see how many properties your website has available in each city or in each um, neighborhood or community if you use Safe Links. This is an example of what the Counts widget looks like. And when you build it out, it gives you a widget code for you to add on your website. And then when you click on any of these cities, it would show you the properties in each of these. Let me show you two examples of clients of ours that have um, the Counts app. This is Buy, Sell, Thrive. And they have it over here in a section called Top Areas. So when somebody clicks on Big Bear, for example, it says it has 190 properties, 191, and then it will show you the results in Big Bear. If we go back, we can see the properties they have available in Apple Valley, for example, and you can see, um, you can compare the number of properties in each place. In this case, we can see that Apple Valley is the one with most properties. However, IDX Broker has a maximum of 500 results that they can show at once, so here they are. Here is another example. This is the firm Memphis, and they added in the app in the listings section. They have their search bar, featured listings, and then they have a search by city where they have um, the Counts app. And it's the same thing. It works in the same way. You just click on the city. And it basically gives you a way of sorting out properties and an easy way for people to see um, to see and find properties in the city that they want to. So it's very useful and you can add it to a page like a listings page or you can add it um, in the homepage like Buy, Sell, Thrive. I'm going to be showing you an example with this site, Urban USA Real Estate. I'm logged into their account here and I'm going to set it up. So the first thing I need to do is click on Add Widget. And as I mentioned, you can do this by saved link or by cities. Saved link would mean going to IDX Broker and creating a new saved link here. And when you create a saved link, you can create um, one for properties, in this case, Coconut Grove or Fisher Island, General, Homes for Sale, Indian Creek. So you can um, create accounts app with saved link and just select all the saved links and each of these would be um, a field over here. Or you can go by city and with city you don't need to do anything. It just takes the cities or areas in your website. I'm going to be doing cities and I'm going to be choosing the cities they have here. In this case, they are going to be communities around Miami. So I'm going to be searching for these. So I'm going to search for Bay Harbor. So um, let's add in Coconut Grove. Um, Sunny Isles Beach. And I'm just going to be adding in others that show up here like Juno Beach. Um, I'm just um, adding these um, randomly just so that we have more results. Okay, I think like that um, would be okay. And then we just click on save and this widget is created. If you click on view available themes, you have the three options that we have available of how you want the Counts app to show. Uh, modern box, simple box, or simple list. I'm going to be choosing modern box, so I select that here. Then we can decide to modify these colors. Let's do a test to see how it would look with this blue, for example. And then the batch text refers to the icon, so let's leave this black. Um, we can say we want the text to be Wait, this got deselected. We want the text to be black, the background to be white. Let's leave this like this to see how it looks. And then we just click on save color scheme and we go here. You can decide whether you want the results, which would be each city, to open up in a new tab or not, and whether you want the fields to be sorted alphabetically or not. And we click on preview. This is an example of how this can look. So we can modify, for example, the border to be like a dark blue and then preview it again.
And here is another example. If you want to add this into your website, all you have to do is copy this widget code and add it into wherever you want the widget to show up, like they did in Buy, Sell, Thrive or the firm Memphis. This is the Counts app. You can modify the theme whenever you like, and it would apply to all of the count widgets that you create. And you can get this app for free by becoming a Realty Candy client. You just need to go to realtycandy.com slash free and click on any of these mail providers to send an email to IDX Broker um, and it will say, I want Realty Candy to be my developer partner. That is if you have an IDX Broker account.